Okay, the idea with prime factorization is that I can write any number with the exception of 1 as a, a product of prime numbers, which is interesting to think about. And let's look at 150 as an example. We'll make a factor tree to help us understand how this works. Factor trees are just one way that I like to find the prime factorization of a number. So what I'm trying to do is find out what numbers, what prime numbers, should I multiply to get 150. So 150, I notice right away, is even. So I'm going to draw the first branches of the tree. And I'm going to use the number 2. 2 is always a useful factor for even numbers. 2 times 75, because now you're doing multiplication here, gives you 150. Now 2 is a prime number, so circle it. And we're done with that branch. 75 is not prime because it has factors other than 1 and itself. For example, we could do 5 times 15. 5 is prime because the only factors of 5 are 1 and 5. 15 is not prime because it has other factors. For example, we could do 3 times 5. And these are both prime. Now, once you reach prime numbers on these branches, those branches are done. And what you've in fact found is that 150 can also be written as 2 times 5, 2 times 5, times 3 times 5. If we multiply these four numbers, we will get 150. 2 times 5 is 10, times 3 is 30, times 5 is 150. So we found the prime factorization of 150. Sometimes they might ask you to find the prime factorization in exponential form. Let's write that down. Exponential form. All that means is that they want you to write this product right here using exponents whenever it's possible. So for example, there's 1, 2. So just write 2 times 3. And then, though there's two fives, so we write times 5 to the second power. And this is what the prime factorization of 150 would look like in exponential form. And just to briefly review, a prime number has only two factors. Prime numbers have exactly two factors. First of all, every prime number has a factor of 1. And of course, every number has a factor of 1, because 1 goes into every number. <clears throat> and second, um, the, the prime numbers have themselves as a factor. So, for example, 5 is prime because the only two factors are 1 and 5. However, 15 is not prime because we have factors 1 times 15 and 3 times 5. So that's more than two factors. 1 is not prime. The reason for this is that if we said 1 was prime, um, all the properties of prime numbers will kind of become useless. And that's because 1 is such a flexible number in multiplication. And that's all there is to prime factorization.